this is our little dahlia nursery and um, what you'll see is I haven't planted these with the tubers completely submerged in compost. They're actually poking a little bit above and that's for good reason because it means that when we're propagating from them to take to make more babies uh, we can actually see the tubers and that's ideal because to take a really successful dahlia cutting it's a very good idea if you can possibly just take a little slither of the tuber at the same time it won't affect the parent plant that will still grow on perfectly happily but it just means that uh, the actual cutting is more likely to root. And so if you just see this one over here, which is a wonderful variety called Sam Hopkins, I only want uh, maybe three or five shoots to come from one tuber, because otherwise they get too jam-packed and um, it, it, they just get too congested, really. You want better air circulation. So, you know, I've got there one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can easily take one or two off without affecting the beauty of the mother plant so I can just get in with a sharp knife I might have to sacrifice this little one below but there we have one daily rooted cutting and just having that little chunk of uh, tuber will make it easier to root and then I'm just going to remove I mean I could tear them but it's always better to cut so that you don't cause so much damage I'm just going to remove those bottom shoots and then with my finger just put them into a pot with um, some vermiculite or some grit in the compost just to keep the structure of the compost open. Again I'll just get this one now um, with a little bit of tuber if I possibly can. There we are. And so just that little bit of tuber there will make it more easy to root and um, poke that one in. Now the amazing thing is, uh, these will get to the same size as that plant in one year. That, that's the extraordinary thing. And these will form tubers to allow them to store over the winter. Well, that's what we find here anyway at 600 feet in East Sussex. And so uh, I've got two off there. I might get some more a bit later. Well, actually, I might even take that one off um, and, le and leave the others to grow up. So I've got another one just coming from the back here. A little bit of tuber there. Just remove those side shoots. This is a variety called Sam Hopkins, which is very, very, very dark, really beautiful, rich colour. And you'll notice that I'm putting the cuttings on the outside of the pot. And that's because what happens is if a root hits the side of the pot and then breaks, that's what you're slightly hoping, um, you then get lots of lateral budding. Whereas if it has to go to the bottom of the pot, come out the bottom, break off, and then get lateral budding, that's slightly more delayed. So it's, it's a good system to put them around the outside of the pot. And then I'm just going to label them and say when I took them. So Sam Hopkins, 27th of April. And then water well over the top and keep them watered morning and night uh, just to make sure that they don't dry out because of course particularly at this stage they're very vulnerable to, to flopping um, and uh, that's it on capillary matting a little bit of basal heat if possible and they should root.